on Gray. And you always fancy yourself as the boat man, right, Arthur? Now oh, I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them Gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of iron in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. You really do. <laughs> You're ready. Get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. Uh, hold on. Wait till she's down real dead. Hurt you. 
Slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, what's in there? Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Help! I'm going there. We're getting there. A few more minutes. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Everybody, stay calm. All you count to 100 and keep your mouth shut. You understand me?
Oh, good fish. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. <laughs> I don't see the problem. And that is the problem. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Go head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Don't forget what you need. This is Dallas. Yeah. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you was good as killing yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Thank you. 
with all these giant dogs. Good Who has it are the peacemakers? They shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. well that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys. On the road in the town, things are about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay. Damn things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? To get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take it. I killed Comb's brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Thank you, Guangzhou. Jiangyi, Xiao Ni, Hai Se, Xiao Ni. Finally, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow. 投币。